In this video, we're going to take a look how to add Poisson distributions. Now, let's just start with two general Poisson variables here. So let's say we've got x and y. Okay. Now, let's define these separately. So x is a Poisson distribution. And let's say the parameter for x is lambda. And we've got y here, which is also a Poisson distribution. And that has parameter mu. Okay. Now what we want to consider here is what happens when we add x and y, these two Poisson variables. Now the first thing we need before we can add these variables together is independence. So x and y must be independent of each other. If they're not independent, then we can't add them together. Now if they are independent, like we said, we can add them together. And what we get is another Poisson variable. So let's say we add these together. So let's say we do x plus y here. Well, like we said, this will also be a Poisson variable. So this will be a Poisson variable. So the result of this, so let's say we said z is equal to x plus y, then z will be a Poisson variable. And the parameter here is going to be the sum of the individual parameters, so lambda and mu. So lambda and mu there. Okay. So that would be our new distribution there. Okay. So like we said, if z was equal to that sum of the distribution, so x plus y, then z would also be a Poisson variable. But like I said, the main idea here is that x and y, or the two variables that we're working with, must be independent. So let's take a look at a couple of examples together here. Now, the first one here is very basic. You're not going to really get an exam question that looks like this, but it's good practice. So we've got x and y, which again, we're told here are independent random variables. So we've got the distribution for x here, and we've got the distribution for y. And what we want to find is the probability of x plus y being equal to 2. So what we need to do here is define x plus y. So because these are both Poisson distributions and they're independent, we can add them together. So x plus y here will be a Poisson distribution. And the parameter here will be the sum of the individual parameters. So that will be 1 plus 3, giving us 4 here. Okay, so that's our parameter. Now we want to find the probability of x plus y being equal to 2. Now, in the last video, we saw how to calculate probabilities. I should have mentioned it in the last video, but you can use a calculator to do these. And for this video, I am going to use my calculator. Now, if you want to do it by hand, you're more than welcome to, but I would definitely recommend learning how to do this with a calculator. I am going to do it in a separate video, um, just so you are aware of how to do that. Now, this is our distribution here. So we want to find the probability of x plus y being equal to 2. So on your calculator, what you'd be doing here would be P, P, D. Then you need to assign a value for X. Now X here is what we're looking to find the probability of. So in this case, that would be two. So X is equal to two. And then you will also have a section for mu here. So mu is the mean, which is which in our case is lambda. We use lambda to represent that, but it would just be your parameter here. So that will be four. And once you press enter, you'll get given your probability. So the probability that you get given is this here. That's what we're answering. So if I give this to three significant figures, what you should get here is 0 0.147 there. Okay. And that is our solution to the first example. Now, the second example here is more like what you're going to see on an exam paper. So we've got context here. We've got a cafe that has two coffee machines, X and Y. We've got machine X, which breaks down at a rate of 0.5 times per week, and machine Y breaks down independently, so that's important, at a rate of 0.7 times per week. And we want to find the probability that there will be at least one total breakdown. So this is important as well, total breakdown. So in this case, we've got X and Y, so they are independent of each other, so we can add them together. So we're going to get X plus Y. And the reason why it's important here that it says total is that's telling us that we're looking at the sum of the distributions or the sum of the variables. So x plus y will also be a Poisson distribution. The parameter here will be the sum of the individual parameters. So what I've got is x, which is a Poisson distribution, and that has a rate of 0 0.5. We then have y, which is also a Poisson variable, and that has a rate of 0 0.7. So in that case, x plus y will also be a Poisson distribution, and that parameter will be 1.2. Okay, just the sum of these two 
uh, parameters. It's like this is 1.2 there. And now we're looking for the probability that there will be at least one total breakdown. So we're looking for here the probability of x plus y being greater than or equal to 1. Okay, that's what we're looking for here. So if there's at least one, we're saying one or greater. So that's what we've defined mathematically here. So again, all we need to do now is put this into our calculator. For this example, this will be PCD because we use PPD when it's an exact probability like this. And then in this case, when we're looking at something where it's uh, greater than or less than, we use PCD. Now, in fact, actually, we will use PPD for this one because once I do my one minus here, so one minus the probability, with it being greater than or equal to one, this probability will be x plus y is less than or equal. It would be zero, which is just the same as finding one minus the probability of x being equal to zero. Okay, so in that case, we might as well just use PPD, but you could use PCD, it doesn't really matter. Um, but put this into your calculator now. In this case, um, x will be one point uh, will be one, mu will be one point two, and if you do this correctly, we're going to do one minus zero point three zero one, and in that case, we get zero point six nine nine there. Okay, so the probability that we'll, there will be at least one total breakdown is this here. So zero point six nine nine. <clears throat> So we've covered a couple of examples together, so now it's your turn, so pause the video, have a quick go, and then we'll take a look in a moment at what you should have got. So hopefully you've gotten okay with these two practice questions. Let's take a look now at what you should have got. So we've got two independent random variables here, x and y, so because they're independent, we can add them together. So x plus y here will also be a Poisson distribution x plus y will also be a Poisson distribution. My parameter here will be the sum of the independent parameters, so that's going to be 1.5 plus 3.5, giving me 5 here for the parameter. Okay, so that's our new distribution, and then we're looking for the probability that x plus y is less than or equal to 3. Now here again, we can either simply put this into our calculator using PCD, or you could just read this from the tables using uh, lambda is 5, and then x is free. But I'm going to use my calculator here. So again, x will be free, and uh, mu in this case, which is our lambda, is 5. So put this into your calculator, but what you should get here is 0 0.265 there. Okay, we don't need to do any 1 minus because it is less than or equal, so that's absolutely fine. And then the final question here, again, same context as the last example on the last page. So again, we've got this cafe, which has two machines. We know they're independent, and we've got the rates, which is the same as the last time we looked at this question. But this time, we're looking for the probability that there will be exactly one total breakdown. So again, x is a Poisson distribution with a rate of 0.5. y is a Poisson distribution with a rate of 0.7. So in that case, the sum, because we're looking for a total breakdown here, um, that would be x plus y. And again, because they're independent, this will also be a Poisson distribution. The parameter here will be the sum of these parameters, so that would be 1.2. So what we're looking for here is the probability of x plus y being equal to 1. So we need to use PPD here because it's an exact probability. Well. We know x is equal to 1, and my um, mu value here is our lambda, so 1.2. So I'll put this into your calculator, and what you should get here is 0 0.361 there. Okay, and that's our solution. So that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the mean and variance of a Poisson distribution.